Hi everyone, I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the Ender family, the Kubifora. The Kubifora is a nimble trail shoe that is designed on taking dirt and rock trails and at the same time comfortable enough if you decide to do part of your runs on tarmac. The Kubifora weighs 273 grams or 9.6 ounces in a European size 41, US men's 8.5 and US women's size 10. The outsole of the Kubifora has a dense lug pattern that is designed to give you a very firm grip when you're out on the trails and at the same time is smooth enough if you decide to run on the roads. The Kubifora shares the same DNA as our workout trainer the E10 and therefore as a result it has a 19 mm stack height right under the forefoot which is measured from the outsole right to the insole and it also has a 4 mm heel to toe drop. When you split it open that's when you begin to see some of the magic happen. There's a firm outer layer of midsole and then there's also a softer pocket that runs from the forefoot all the way to the back of the heel. In between those two layers is a ballistic nylon rock plate that serves as extra protection against sharp stones or thorns like the acacia. You'll also notice that the midsole essentially comes around to wrap around your heel. This ensures that the Kubifora holds your foot when you're basically making sharp turns or when you're on rough terrain. The upper of the Kubifora has two distinct fabrics. At the top, basically you have a shield made of ripstop fabric, which is not only strong, but also water resistant. And then on the inside, you have an area print fabric booty that basically runs from the midsole all the way to the heel and basically hugs your heel. The essence is that you actually feel like you're wearing a soft breathable socks, which is very cool. My most favorite thing about this shoe are the stories that it tells, starting with the name Kubifora. Kubifora is a place in northern Kenya where the early remains of Homo erectus were found. And if you look up close on the eyelets, you'll see the numbers 1471, 470. These numbers are significant because they are part of the name of a skull of Homo rudolfensis, who is also part of the Homo erectus family that was discovered at Kubifora by Bernard Ngeneo, a Kenyan. At the back of the hill, you'll realize that we also have a shield and a spear that are lifted from the coat of arms on the Kenyan flag. Because the Kubifora shares the same DNA as the Iten, you'll realize it also features 12 lines on the lateral side. 12 is an important number in Kenya because it represents 12th of December when Kenya became a republic after years of colonial rule. At the same time, at the bottom of the shoe is the word Harambe. Harambe basically means we all pull together. It's Kenya's national motto and a rallying cry to anything that might be difficult to achieve as an individual, but easier to achieve when you have the community rallying around you. On the inside of the shoe, you'll see the image of a 1.5 million year old footprint of Homo erectus, which was found at Ilaret. Ilaret is also a place in northern Kenya.